Hello everyone, my name is Tim and I'm one of the product specialists here at Spy Center Security, the Spy Gear Superstore. And I'm here today to talk to you guys about the Professional Digital RF Wireless Bug Detector. Okay, so the main purpose of this video is to give you guys an idea of how to actually use this specific RF detector. I do not go over what an RF detector is or how to choose one. If you haven't already, I would recommend taking a look at our video that details what RF detectors are and how to actually choose one. That video is located under the main category page at the top. This RF detector has a range of 40 megahertz to 6 gigahertz. What is really neat about this device is that it actually tells you what type of signal it's detecting. It breaks it down between Bluetooth signals, Wi-Fi signals, GSM signals, which are mobile phone signals, and RF signals. The Professional Digital RF Wireless Bug Detector features dual antennas and this is a little bit more complicated to use so up next I'm actually going to demonstrate how to use the device and give you some real world scenarios. Hello everyone, today what we're doing is a quality demonstration on the Pro RF Detector. Now we're going to actually do a real world scan but first I have to show you the device and kind of how to use it and some of its more advanced features. So this is one of our more advanced devices so there's going to be a lot going on here on the faceplate. Um, what we have first and foremost is a power switch. If I go ahead and power that up you're going to see a bunch of lights and it kind of start doing some things but don't get intimidated we're going to go through each one of these buttons individually okay. So if we look here we're going to start on the left hand side this is antenna one and then right on the other side of it is an antenna two now this is actually literally switching between antenna one up here and antenna two these have different purposes and they scan different frequency ranges so do a little bit of research find out what frequency you're going to be scanning for and then choose the appropriate antenna all you do to switch them is by pressing the button and you'll know which antenna you're on by the little orange indicator light you'll see if i press this one the orange light will go back to here on this side. Now the next thing I'm going to show you guys is sensitivity. The sensitivity allows you to adjust your field of view as far as this goes to see if it can detect something closer or further away from you. If I press the minus button, that makes it more sensitive so that it can see something at a further distance. When I press the ATT plus button, you'll see that it's actually going to detect something at a much closer distance. And you can actually see a visual representation of this on the screen here, because if I press the minus button, you're gonna notice that it's detecting something because it has a further range, right? So if I press the plus button, it completely goes away, and now this will only light up pretty much if I'm right on top of it. You can utilize this to pinpoint the location of a device. Up here, now we're gonna skip this little button in the middle for now. We're gonna move up here. This button right here, when I press it, it's gonna to toggle between audio, audio and vibrate, and vibrate. What that does for you is whenever you get closer to an object, it's either gonna make a loud noise like it was just now, or it's gonna vibrate in your hand to indicate to you that you're actually detecting something. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the center part here. This is, um, you're going to need to pay attention to this because depending on the color of this light right here, it's going to tell you what it's detecting. So blue means Bluetooth, green means Wi-Fi, red means mobile, and then orange is detect. Detect just means like it, it's generally detecting something in the area that it's not classifying by one of those other three areas. Now, if I move you back down to the, the core or correlate button, think about a sonar and how a sonar works on a submarine. If I press this button, like let's say one, two, three, pause, and then press it again, and then I see that exact pattern up there, what this is doing is sending out a signal reflecting off of a refracting off of an antenna and coming back. So if this goes the exact pattern that you just pressed, that positively identifies that you found a bug and it's in the area. Um, so next what we're going to do is I'm gonna switch to antenna two. I'm gonna, oops, I'm sorry. Switch to antenna two. I'm gonna turn this off so you guys don't have to listen to that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a scan on this back wall. And what we're gonna do is one of these nanny cameras up here is transmitting and we're gonna to try to find it, okay? So I'm gonna start over here. And it's gonna be kinda of hard for you guys to see, but what we're looking for is this light, the further this goes up, the more it's detecting something. So if I kind of start a sweep like this, and I go back and forth, what's gonna happen is, oh, oh, you see how crazy it's going? See how, how coming close? Let's see this close. You see how this is going crazy? 
that's telling me that it's detecting something right here. And you see how that little, that light was flashing green just there? That was telling me that it's detecting a Wi-Fi signal. And there you go. That's how simple it is.